Well, good morning. Kia ora. Welcome to Rafiti Cave. Tracks take about an hour to reach the cave. Winds along a stream. Lots of birds this morning. It is quite early. And it's about two degrees. So, away we go. Kia and welcome to Rafiti Cave. This cave is a limestone formation in the north end of the South Island of New Zealand. And as you can see behind me, it's got all sorts of interesting shapes and textures and pattern. The reflected light coming off of this formation up here is giving us some decent lighting inside the cave. And I'm hoping that the S1R can pick that information up. What I'm wanting to shoot today is the textures, the colors, and the repeating patterns of the cave. And if I can get a little bit of water, that would be good as well. There's a pathway here, goes all the way down into the cave, and we'll see how far that goes. What I'm going to do now is take the S1R down these stairs here, see what I can find. Um, there is some cool textures, patterns, the stalactites in the cave just marching off like soldiers into the distance. I do have a very bright area right here that I need to avoid, so I am going to go down the steps and see what I can find. Got this tree right here that I need to avoid. But I think right here we've got some decent shot.
So what I'm looking at, this pattern that keeps repeating across here of the stalactites. Some good colors, some good shapes. And every once in a while, we get just a little bit of, a little bit of water dripping in the foreground. And if that comes through, that'll be kind of neat. So we've got the camera on a two second timer because I want to make sure that at a third of a second shot that I don't vibrate the camera and then I get a good sharp shot. Go ahead and play that back. One, if I could change one thing about the Lumix S1R is that when you review portrait images that they actually show up as portrait on the screen on the back. Because right now, that portrait shot is sideways. And that's just a bit annoying. But I can still zoom in. I can still look and see how sharp things are. And right now, it's looking all right. So one of the options that the S1R has is focus bracketing, which I haven't used before. So I'd like to give that a shot with this. Um, due to the darkness of the cage, but the brightness out here, I dropped my ISO down to 100 and put uh, f-stop at 2.8. So it's wide open, so I can get the images out there. It does mean that I've blown out this little corner here, but I'll fix that later. Um, yeah, so let me give you a little shot of how this works. Make sure I've got what I want. Focus bracketing. I want to start up here at the top and it'll take a series of images from front to back because that's how I have it set. There's 11 shots taken as it changes focus a step of two each time it took the shot. So We'll stitch those together and see how they look. These steps are extremely wet and muddy and slippery, so I'll take them one at a time. Step on down, big step. You can see in this cave, fairly dark. There's a nice platform at the end that I'll take advantage of to try to get some more shots of these stalactites. Some nice patterns in here. Gorgeous textures. Even where we are. What I want to do now is try to get in just a little bit closer. Try to get some nice lights and darks, some contrast in the image and show really the depth of the stalactites. So I'm just panning around right now to see what I can see. I think there's a decent shot there. That right there. Set it about 40 mil. 40 millimeters. And then camera's level. Everything's ready to go. Uh, need to turn my focus bracketing off so I'll use quick menu again. Turn that focus bracket off. And now I'm back to normal shooting mode. So let's take f-stop back up to about eight. But now my length of time for this shot is going to be about eight seconds. But 
put it back on two second timer. Let's give it a shot, see how it goes. So that shot's at ISO 100, F8 for eight seconds. Nice review. Zoom in. Let's take a look at some of these beautiful patterns. And that looks pretty good to me. Let's see if the camera can do any better at focusing than I can. No, not really. Put it back in manual focus. Let's try this again. Beautiful tack sharp image, front to back. So I'm gonna take a look around a little more, see what we can find, see what we can see. And uh, looking for more pattern, more detail. So standing in the same spot and looking up, some really nice stalactites hanging down and a lot of them have this nice slender shape and then they balloon out and then continue down with a nice point. There's no water dripping off of them at this point in time, but it's an interesting shot coming up at an angle with the 24 to 70, I'm not getting a lot of wide angle type distortion. I am currently at about 50 mil, and so I'm at ISO 400, F11, three second shot, two second timer. Let's take a look. Uh, there's that wonderful Lumix turning things sideways stuff. That looks good. I'm happy with that focus. Rafi T Cave. It's a beautiful formation. Really gorgeous. The sound of water, it's beautiful. But I think that's it for this one. If you'd like to continue to support the channel, subscribe like the usual YouTube stuff. It's a Patreon account if you would like to sign up for Patreon. If you're not too much into Patreon, which I understand, uh, there's also the subscription to the channel. Uh, I appreciate it. Again, I'm James. We're here in New Zealand, Rafiti Cave, north end of the South Island. Have a good one, guys.